We have a breaking video from Gigafactory Texas friends this morning. Look at this video by Joe Techmeyer, which shows the second and third floors of Giga Texas and the sneak peek of how Tesla builds Model Ys at Giga Texas being assembled in the ground floor. Welcome back, friends. This is Armin Hari. I'm from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel if you are here first time. So this morning, Joe Techmeyer, who regularly uh, brings videos from Giga Texas and chronicles everything with Giga Texas. I know Joe drives three times a week, 180 miles to, uh, both ways each time to bring us these videos to chronicle Giga, uh, Giga Texas. So this morning he has this video saying 19 January 2022 Giga Texas short video clip, General Assembly third and second floors and a sneak peek with multiple model Ys being assembled on the ground floor. Um, and he also says, see my YouTube video for the full 4,000 videos of this 4K video of this and other areas inside Giga Texas. I will have the link of Joe's video here, friends. But look at this, this is very interesting. You know, you will see the sneak peek of how Tesla actually builds model Y at uh, Giga Factory, Texas. Someone asked Joe, how many floors is in Giga Texas? He said, most too, and that's why you can see from uh, the videos that we have seen about Giga Texas and the construction. But he says about 60% third floors and about 15% fourth floors. And um, another person actually said, Joe, not only did you capture the Model Y's uh, assembly line, you also caught a first video, a first view of a real 4680 structural pack. You can tell us the seats are attached to it left side on the photo. And uh, so that looks very interesting. You can see that in this video. And another person said, you know, wow, that's really cool seeing model wise produced at Giga Texas in that in this way. Reminds me of Krispy Kreme stores where you can see the donuts making donut making process, except on a much, much bigger scale here at Giga Texas. So this is really cool and very interesting. What do you think, friends? I know the latest that we have uh, we we know that Tesla has applied some paperwork about to be done, and after that it should start the production of Giga Texas. Over a half a dozen new Tesla Model Y vehicles were recently spotted at Giga Factory Texas as production has been expected to start very soon. And these are these were probably the test vehicles. I've reported about that and you can about to see them. So this is Armin Hari. I'm from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to this channel for daily breaking Tesla news announcements and give us thumbs up and like this video if you found it useful and helpful. Have a great day. God bless you everyone. Peace be with all of you. And let's move on to our next Tesla story. We have some breaking news from Tesla Giga Texas about the first new Tesla Model Y vehicles spotted at Giga Factory Texas. Do you remember that last week I reported several reports, filed several reports in which I said that from what we see, Tesla Giga Texas has already started the production at Giga Factory Texas. Today we're seeing the first new Tesla Fresh Model Ys at Giga Factory Texas, and we're gonna take a look at them very closely. Welcome back, friends. This is Armin Hari. I'm from Talk news.com if you are here first time please subscribe to our channel for daily tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next tesla story so fresh batch of new tesla model y vehicles built at giga factory texas were recently spotted at giga texas in austin the electric vehicle manufacturer's new headquarters speculations suggest uh, reports tesla Radi, that uh, these sightings could be one of the first fresh batches of model y's produced at Giga Texas. I like the color, I like the look. While there were only a few Model Ys, the sightings hint at at least trial production has started at Giga Texas. The latest development aligns, developments actually align with Wedbash analyst Dan Ives' estimate earlier last week, um, this month, so, so that the Texas Giga Texas, actually Tesla Giga Texas would start Model Y production in the next seven to 10 days. He also stated that testing was nearly complete and Tesla was ready to get the green light for Giga Texas. I think they were then doing some paperwork. 
Tesla certainly seems more than ready to kick off Model Y production at Giga Texas. There have been quite a few exciting developments at the new Gigafactory since 2022 began on January 6th. More solar panels from Longi Green Energy were seen on Giga Texas roof, as I reported earlier around that time. Last week, Giga Texas received a new batch of Giga Press deliveries for the Model Y. You can see, guys, all of those reports at Torque News YouTube channel. Tesla started Giga Press test back in May 2021, and a few photos of the mega casts were shared with the public. The mega casts looked identical to those used in the Model Y. Tesla also confirmed that it produced a few alpha prototypes of the Cybertruck, though there have been no sightings yet of deliveries pertaining to the vehicle's 8,000 ton Giga Press. Tesla Giga Texas is expected to start Model Y production soon. Tesla said its quarter four and uh, FY 2021 earnings call for Wednesday, January 2026, actually January 26, 2022. Elon Musk stated he would provide a production roadmap at the earnings call. Tesla may also provide an update on both Giga Texas and Giga Berlin during call. Now, Jeff Roberts, who often flies drones like the uh, Joe Tegmeyer over Gigafactory Texas shared a picture on a bunch of brand new Model Y vehicles uh, uh, charging at the factory. So credit for this picture goes to Jeff Roberts. And uh, these Model Ys look brand new out of the factory, but uh, it can't be confirmed that they were produced at Gigafactory Texas, albeit likely or to what extent they were built there. So um, if you have more information about the situation with Gigafactory Tesla, Texas Model Y or Giga Berlin Model Y or any other interesting Tesla info, friends, feel free to reach out uh, uh, to me uh, through the uh, contact information on our YouTube channel uh, or our Twitter. Again, this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. I look forward to hearing your comments. What do you think about these images shared by Jeff Roberts, friends? And uh, have a wonderful day. Day, please subscribe to our channel to, for the follow-ups on these and Giga Berlin and Tesla issues. And God bless you, everyone. Peace be with all of you. And give us thumbs up. Please like this video if you found this report helpful. I'll see you soon in our next report. Let's move on to our next Tesla story. This morning, we have a very interesting image from Tesla Giga Berlin's Model Y, which has a rare angle suggesting 4680 battery pack in the upcoming Model Y in Texas Giga Berlin. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here the first time, please subscribe to our channel for breaking Tesla, Tesla news every day and ring the bell so you don't miss my coverage and give us thumbs up, please. We greatly appreciate it. So look at this very rare angle of Tesla Model Y built at Giga Texas. This is image has been taken yesterday. It has no floor and therefore needs to have a structural battery pack body and likely come with 4680 battery cells, which are more advanced, more energy dense and have more range. Tesla Giga Texas Chronicle Joe Techmeyer, who has been documenting the construction of Tesla's Giga factory in Austin and Joe drives 180 miles three times a, a week uh, both ways to document Tesla Giga Giga Texas for all of us. So my respect to him. So yesterday shared this very unique angle of Tesla Model Y's body built at Giga Texas. It is very revealing. Joe shared this image and wrote a different angle on the test Model Y body delivered today at Giga Texas, 14th January 2022. Note, no floor, so structural battery pack body and likely with 4680s, meaning the battery. See my video on YouTube later today. Friends, I will have Joe's YouTube link in the description of this video. So I contacted Joe and asked his opinion on this. I wrote him, so you are saying that since it doesn't have floor, it will use the structural 4680 battery. Is it fair to assume that A, Tesla is test building cars for test purpose to test its systems at Giga Texas and they are with structured structural 4680 batteries and B that Tesla will bring these batteries from the Cato Road facility next to the Fremont factory in California to produce Model Y with 4680 batteries until it starts producing those batteries at Giga Texas. 
Joe Techmeyer replied and said, yes, it is my understanding Giga Texas is preparing to make Model Ys with structural packs from the beginning and use batteries from Cato Road initially until Giga Texas can make the cells at sufficient volume to take on the load. That makes very good sense and I agree with Joe's reasoning. I asked him if he expected this situation continue until mid-year and around mid-year Giga Texas will take the load in terms of 4680 battery protection pro production. Joe said that is my understanding too. I'm hoping we will get a better understanding of what Tesla intends on the 26th of uh, June for factory status, production, timelines, and etc. So we're all looking forward to January 26th when Elon Musk speaks about these issues and we will have better idea. So look for that. Please, if you are here first time, subscribe to our channel because we're going to pick our, uh, um, put our finger on the pulse of these developments and bring you the latest. If you look at our history, we bring three to five unique and uh, breaking tesla stories every day in this channel so please subscribe to our channel ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage and let me know what do you think about this rare and unique angle suggesting 4680 battery packs in tesla model y and how many 4680 battery packs do you think kato road facility which is not very big in fremont is able to build and supply giga texas until giga texas in mid 2022 is ready to take on the full load with full capacity Capacity. This is Armin Haryan. Have a great day, friends. See you in my next Tesla report. God bless you and peace be with all of you. Let's move on to our next Tesla story.